What's going on everybody? Just want to show you what uh, we're doing here with uh, our first gilt who I think is going to be farrowing the next 24 hours, 48 hours. Um, I got this hoodie on so the wind isn't too bad for this mic here. But what we're doing here is I, I put a whole bunch of straw down in her pen because it's just been so muddy and it's been collecting a lot of water that I'm afraid, you know, there was a couple pockets of water, you know, for whatever reason she decided to farrow outside of the hut. I didn't want one of those piglets falling in the water and drowning because I do hear about that happening. And I'm hoping that she still farrows inside the hut and not out here on this, on this, straw that we put out this is just an experiment i'm trying it with her because i think she's ready to go at any point in time and i want to see how she does with it and then if it goes well i'll i'll do it with the other ones but uh i'll show you here what we got going and this straw i didn't put any around the water over there that you see or around the feed there's a little open area there Cause they're just gonna tromp it, tromp it, tromp it, and there's not like standing water, so I'm not worried about it. But that's that's a whole bunch of straw that I put out there to cover all this stuff up. And you know, one bale, I, I bought a round bale for like 20 bucks, and it's well worth it. I mean that that um, 20 dollar round bale I've used to fill the huts with numerous times put out here and I still got that much of it left at the, and it was roughly a 1500 pound round bale wind's kind of dying down now so this is what we did we, we put some straw out here um, in hopes that uh, you know if she decided to farrow out here it's not gonna you know it's not it shouldn't um, you know drown any piglets i'm hoping it doesn't encourage her i'm hoping it does not encourage her to farrow out here this penny right here because you know it's the dead of winter uh luckily we've had some mild winters i can't really see what you guys are seeing i hope that's a good shot it's a it's a mild winter this year we're not having any crazy cold temps um right now i would say it's more on the warmer side to be honest with you but I don't want to encourage her to farrow out here. So I'm hoping that this straw out here doesn't do that. Um, but it's just so muddy, so swampy, soupy, whatever you want to call it over there. That one, it's hard for me to get in and out of there. Two, she probably sinks in that mud probably 10 inches or so. And this is... Well, I'll take you over here to the other girls. The other, I was told, I was told not to, to call them girls anymore. I was told to call them sows and gilts. So I'll take you over to the gilts pen and show you what it looks like. Well, here's one, here's our sow walking through it. She gets on that straw and it's much easier. That's our sow. And she doesn't sink right in it. Penny over here. I mean, her feet, her hooves are just sinking right in, and it makes it rough. Put that straw down, it's really nice. You know, 20 bucks, it's, it's, it's worth it. But you see how this real muddy and everything's standing? Um, no water standing like that. And over here, we got that puddle. Now, for whatever reason, she was walking around and one dropped out. You know, they don't get to moving very fast. I mean, that's critical. She, she has a piglet in that. Is dead. That piglet, you know, it's going to be in the amniotic sac, and we're done. Here's old Gabby. I did put little beds out for him so that it's nice and dry, but um, yeah, so that's that's what it looks like. We've just had so much moisture; it's been crazy. Um, so I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this is a good experiment. It was something <clears throat> that crossed my mind to do. And I thought about it. And sometimes, you know, you get one of those brainstorm ideas. And uh, you want to do it. But you're like, I don't know. 
And then I told my wife to come out here and check on these pigs and tell me what she thought, because I thought she looked pretty miserable. This one, like, she's ready to have these babies. And my wife said the same thing, and she said, you know, it's too bad you can't put any straw out there. And I said, you know, that's what I was planning on, or that's what I thought about doing. So I did it. It's an experiment, and uh, that's what it looks like, you know. I didn't go all the way to the very end over there. I left that just the way it is. There's, you know, no standing water over there. But we got a nice bed of straw down. I didn't put any right here just because it's the water area. And maybe I'll do it. I don't know. Yeah, I probably will. But that's what we got, guys. Those over there. Um, I'm going to be cutting those in half laying them down and making hog huts out of them for the feeder pigs so yeah and it makes it easier for them to walk in this stuff too makes me it makes it easier for me it makes it easier for them so that's all we got i'll keep you guys posted um on who's i'll keep the guys posted on who's buying pit or feeder pigs and um hopefully we don't lose any hopefully everything goes smooth and uh yeah we'll talk at y'all later